what is the one thing that you have to have on your turkey day dinner uh, table? Yeah. Uh, maybe you make it. Maybe Jill, your wife, mm-hmm. makes it. Uh, but it has to be there. Um. And so the the Thanksgiving we eat today is basically the same Thanksgiving meal I've eaten all my life. It's always going to be the same. The I and I'm a fan of uh, growing up. We ate. We didn't just eat turkey. At Thanksgiving, my grandmother about once a month would make a basically what looked like Thanksgiving turkey and dressing, mm-hmm. and we'd eat that after church. But, but so it's always the same thing. But sweet potatoes are the deal. We don't. Do, my wife grew up doing mashed potatoes. We grew up eating sweet potatoes, and we do not. And this is the thing. Okay, here we go. Here we go for those of y'all you, who like marshmallows. No, you do not <laughs> ever put marshmallows on sweet potatoes. They belong in like ambrosia or one of those old <laughs> old lady desserts with coconut in it or something. Marshmallows are okay on a fire and on s'mores, but not on sweet potatoes. You have to have some kind of nuts. On you need something crunchy on those sweet potatoes. And so I've got a recipe, and uh, you can Google it. It's I think it's called Jill's Sweet Potatoes or something online, or Robert St. If you Google Robert St. John's Sweet Potatoes, these are awesome. You can actually eat them for dessert. But there's a secret ingredient in the topping. It's got pecans mm-hmm. and walnuts mm-hmm. and a secret ingredient that, that I'm not going to tell you what it is. And, and what you should do <laughs> when you make it. So much for transparency. No, no, here's the deal. It'll be when you Google it, you'll see oh, Okay, it. all right. So those who Google right. because what, what you need to do is when you serve these at Thanksgiving and you're sitting at the table, everybody's going to go, oh, these sweet potatoes are awesome, man. What's that? They're, and you say, there's a see, see if anybody can guess. Mm. What the topping is, it's pecans and it's walnuts and it's brown sugar and it's butter and it's this other thing, mm. which we get off there, I'll tell you. And uh, and it's really, really good. So sweet potatoes are my go-to, but I'm really more of a dressing. I can eat dressing and gravy. There you go. And I don't have to have turkey. I like turkey, but give me dressing and gravy. My mom made a green bean casserole that had caraway seeds in it. Uh, that's really, really good. I updated in my second book, and we serve that now. And uh, you know, those are those are the constants. What kind of dressing? Are, what kind of dressing guy are you? Um, I'm cornbread dressing. Cornbread. Guy. Yeah, she made oyster dressing some, but uh, I'm I'm 100% cornbread dressing. And my second book, the one I was talking about, has uh, it's called Deep South Staples or How to Survive in a Southern Kitchen Without a Can of Cream of Mushroom <laughs> Soup. And what I did is I came up with a, a different recipe. I, I took all the foods we grew up eating and kind of updated them and legitimized them uh, with, you know, like professional uh, kitchen techniques. And I came up with a mushroom bechamel sauce that replaces the, you know, cream of mushroom soup can. And that dressing has that, and the green bean casserole, has that mushroom bechamel sauce in it. It's an extra step, yeah. but it's not oh, that no. hard to do. No, no. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, absolutely. Eating. Yeah, Huge difference. Yeah. Um, Robert St. John uh, joins us here this morning on the Morning Crew Radio Show. And uh, how do you how do you finish off the Thanksgiving dinner? I mean, uh, you got to have dessert. Yeah. I mean, you got yeah. to have something. I serve today, I serve pumpkin cheesecake. And there's a recipe for I that. Know, you can Google that, Robert St. John <laughs> pumpkin cheesecake. Growing up, I don't remember eating dessert. I'm, I'm sure my grandmother probably served some kind of pound cake or something like that. But since the 90s uh, in our family, I've, uh, I've just, what I, I'm lazy about it. I, I go get a pumpkin cheesecake at the restaurant and bring it home <laughs> and serve it. Because there's, there's, there's I can't beauty. make it better than what our, uh, what our chefs are doing up there. This is the beauty. And you own your own restaurant, you just bring the food home with you. Yeah, pumpkin cheesecake is great. Really, really good.